All right. So you can see my screen, yes, no, yes. All right. So let me know if you can see my screen because I just minimized yes. everything. All right, yes, perfect. Yes, ma'am. All right, so this is response magic. So when you get your link from your instructor, um, you're gonna get a sign in. And a lot of people come in and you automatically set up your response magic. You go in and you get your magnets all set up. And then when you start building your team, you're like, well, where do I get my link? So this is what I always tell my students. When you come into Response Magic, you want to check down here where you have this little bitty message. Click here to log in as an affiliate, OK? And it kind of is deceiving because it thinks you're already an affiliate where well, you're not. So you're going to click on here. And it's gonna bring you to this information center, okay? And you're gonna come in here and you're gonna click on need help logging in and it's gonna take you to where you need to go to sign up. And what you wanna do, and you can use your same credentials is you're gonna type in your credentials and come here or get to the need help signing up. And it's gonna bring you to your Platinum Synergy. Let's see if I can get in. And this is what you need to be looking at, all right? This is where you get your affiliate links for your response magic. Um, and a lot of people don't, don't advertise your response magic. It is a free lead generation program and you do get commissions from it. I get clicks on it all the time. It's got, you know, right here, you know, how many times I get people lock, you know, click on it. Um, things that come in, you can get commissions in here. I'm not gonna click on my commissions, but you can come in here and it tells you how you can market. Here's your homepage, here's your customer squeeze link page. Um, click here to do a pre-written email. So they even have emails that's already pre-written for you. Um, they have where you can do business referrals. You get up to 40% commission if a business comes in. And it has different programs that come in with the, with the um, Response Magic program. Um, you have the email program that comes in. Um, I think it's $17.95 for a, just a regular person, small business. But if a company comes in, it can be up to five, six, seven hundred dollars a month that they can pay, depending on the size of the company and how many emails that profit goes up or that margin goes up. And then if they decide to put the SMS in there, then that margin is even more because that's an additional fee to have text messages go out. And um, if they use your link, just like with our wine, with our Vela Vita, with our Cash Network Direct, they come in and use your link to sign up for this generate lead generation system, you earn commissions from that. So this is something you want to work on um, and use this. You also have your um, robo form. So this will be a great tool to market with your robo form. you got your lead generation system, and then, hey, you need to save your passwords and your information, then you need your robo form. So then once you get here, then you have your links that you can use for your affiliates. There's some great information in here that you can use. They give you some great tools on how to market, where to market. They even have one that's for social media platforms that you can use without getting kicked off. And here's the thing is they do have pre-written emails. So you can come in here and see videos on how you can do things, see your email that you can send out. Again, copy this, modify it to make it sound like you, and then you can set it up in your um, lead generation program. So there's great tools in here, like I said, that I don't think that we're utilizing to its potential to make our business grow. All right. So then once you come in here, you have your lead generation system. Um, you got your link to go to your uh, students and then you're going to come back. And then you're going to come and set up your response magic. I have two different ones, so I know which one goes where. Um, log in. And this is what we use personally to set up your response magic codes. Um, and if you don't know what your response magic is, that's this little thing right here that invites people to have to come to your website. When they come and visit, if they don't see what they're looking for, or they just want to leave some information for you, then you have the access, their access, you know, and there's certain questions that you want. 
I always tell my students, you don't want a book. You don't want their life history because most people aren't going to give it to you. They're going to give you the basics. Um, and so we're going to show you how to make this magnet if you don't have it, where to go and get past magnets that you've created. Um, and the other thing we're going to do is show you how to set up an email system in there. And it's fairly easy. Um, you can have your email list. So when you come here, you have your email list. I am participating in the SMS. I pay for it. It's like $10 a month. So I can send text messages out to anybody that fills out my form. They can get a text message from me. Um, you have your opt-in form. You have your emails, your contacts. And then you have your um, email for people that, hey, you want to send out an email to them? You can do that. Um, and then your rules and regulations. So this is where you have all your create information. Your send in information is once you go in there, you can send out an email broadcast. You can send out an SMS broadcast. You can even say, well, I need to see if this is going to work and what it looks like. You can send yourself a test email to make sure that you where it shows up because it will tell you if you are too spammy and it'll go straight into your their spam or their junk mail. If it's not too spammy, it'll go into their inbox. Um, so again, you want to be able to look at those parameters. Now there's two different things is once you can get in here, there's two different ways that you can create autoresponders. And you can come here and create an auto email campaign. This is usually where I go to. Um, you can come here and do your, add it to your website where you can say, hey, this is where I go get my information um, or create a customer magnet. So you have two different ways to get to where we're going. Um, if it's easier for you to just click on this, you can click on this and create an automatic and it's going to pull up this. So I've got some in here already. Green means that people are picking my emails up. All right. If it comes in here and it's yellow or red, that means they're not picking it up. Um, and so, you know, you want to go in there and either get their email and send them a personalized email from your personal email account. Or if you have their phone number, call them or send them a text message. Say, hey, I'm sending you a few emails with some updates, a newsletter. Um, just want to make sure that you're getting them. This is the email that it's coming from. Um, this is the headline to let them know, you know, that it's not spam because they've signed up for it, but maybe they forgot what it is. Um, and it also tells you the days. So I got the first one that goes out. Then two days after that, I got another one. Three days after that one goes out, there's another one that goes out to them. And then I have a five-day one, um, then another two-day one. Um, and then I have them set up for that. And then I got one that I probably is a test one that I didn't do. But you can set up those emails to where you can schedule those days out and have different emails set up. So this is where you can go in and copy those emails. Um, there's videos right here. If you're not sure how to do it, I highly recommend you watch these videos because those these videos are literally catered to whatever program or window you are in in your response magic. So when you click on this training video, it's going to show you how to generate an email, how to create that email, what kind of email you want to do. So you also see where it says you have an HTML and you have a text message. Um, since I'm in text message, I actually can send a text message. If you're not in the SMS program, you won't have this one. Um, I always tell them, always use the HTML code when you're doing um, an email, because then you can add your links, you can add pictures in there. Um, you don't wanna just do a text, a text email. You always wanna do the HTML, because then you have more options that you can do your email with. Um, so even if you want to come here and create an email, you can come here and create an email. And once you create the email, it's literally very simple how you want to do it. You want to give it a subject line and you can be, you know, just talk about this one's going to be new programs. All right, coming summer. And this is gonna be one of those things that I'm gonna be literally creating an, a, um, a newsletter. And I want them to be able to see what I wanna do. Now your emails, when they go out, are gonna to go to personalized emails. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna come up here and say, well, what do I need to do to make it personalized so that when they open the email, it says, hey, June, or hey, Mr. Smith. Um, I can come up here and click personalize and it's gonna tell me 
what I need to do, exactly how I need to do it. So if I just want it to say first name, then I can do first name. I copy that and I come here and I paste it. Oh, come on, that's the wrong one. So there's that. Now, if I want to do their last name too, then I can come here and do their last name. Um, right there. And you're just gonna come here and do the same thing. Oop, wrong. And just hit the undo button. Somehow I pasted the, I think I copied the whole line. I did. So I just want this part right here. And then I should be able to paste it right there. There you go. So now it's gonna have their first and last name. Well, I don't want it to be that formal. I just want it to be first name. And then you're gonna create your email or you can do it. I am not very formal. I'm very down to earth. I don't want it to sound businessy or, you know, salesy. I want it to be a newsletter. I want it to let them know, hey, you've been following me. You've been with me forever. Um, thank you for doing that. Here's some new stuff that we got coming out. Um, and I'll go in here and just say, here are a few, are a few things. All right, then I'll have my page up for, um, say I wanna come here and look for travel. And I'll search my own website for my travel pages, or I could go up and, you know, I'm still searching. If I want to, I can, you know, pull up my travel page, um, ad template that has all my travel ads in there. I can do that too, and pull up all my different travel. Oh, I gotta go fix that video. Um, pull up all my different travel. So here's one that I want to do, um, different travel things. Uh, let's see, there's another one I want to do, um, adult travel hotels. That was one of my first travel pages I ever did. I've never gone back to it. Um, I need to. So again, I'm finding, finding some of my own stuff. Um, so I'm gonna come here, travel for less. Well, these are some old ones. I know I got more travel pages in here somewhere. Or vacation, that's why I wanna do vacation, sorry.
And I'm gonna grab the link off the grid living. Now that has nothing to do with vacation, but it's in there somehow. All right, so I can't find my page, but I'm gonna go ahead and just go to my travel link and I'm gonna grab it and put my travel in there. So I'm gonna get my ad templates, go to my travel. There we go, summer fun. Oh, that's why summer fun ideas for adults. So I'm gonna copy that link and I'm gonna go back to my response magic and I'm gonna paste this in here and have them check it out, all right? Then I'll just keep on going and I'll keep adding to this. And then once I get finished with it, um, I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna save it and so now it's saved and I can come back and use it um, and I'm going to hit save as and where do I want to put it I'm going to put it on the shot with mama chief or I'm going to put it in yeah let's leave it in there shot with mama chief emails because it's going to everybody um, and I wanted to go in my saved emails and I'm gonna save it, okay? So there's that, and then I'm gonna look for my title that I just created. I can't remember what I changed, named it, but there's one that I can use. So if I wanna go in, here's I'm gonna, new programs coming, there it is right there, that's what I did. Here's one I did before. Um, new cuts coming soon, 2021, new programs available. So here's one that I already did. So let's look at that one. Um, here it is for the wine. Here's some links that I have in there. Thank you, talk to you soon, Mama Chief. So this one, I need to update it because I got an S there. Um, so there, so then I'm gonna click send. And it always asks you, do you wanna save it? Um, and we saved it. So then it's gonna ask you from your list. Now your list is generated from every response magic code that you have created. Now, if you wanna send it to everybody, you can, or if you have a specific response magic code you wanna send it to that you know that people's filled it out, then you can send it to that one. I'm just gonna click all of them because I want everybody to get this information. So I'm gonna click them all. And I'm gonna specify a time once I click them. All right, so when do I want it to go out? All right, so March 24th, 2022, it's already gone. Most people are getting ready to go to bed, already gone to bed. So I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna change the date. Today is Thursday, Friday. Let's go, let's send it out Friday. I don't want it to go out at 1 a.m. I want it to go out when people usually get up and get ready for work. So I want to go maybe 5 a.m. And the reason I do that, because if people are like me, the first thing I do when I get up is after I get up, get going, I come in and check my emails. I still do that every day. I check my emails. Most people still do that. If they don't check them here, they'll check them when they get off work or get at work before they start the day. They'll check their emails. So I want to get them that email first thing in the morning. Um, so they can see it. If you want to change it based on what you know your routine is, um, send it in the middle of the day. Some people check it, their emails in the afternoon um, during their lunch break, you know, or during their downtime at work or their break times at work. Um, some people check their emails before they leave work or the right time they get home before they eat dinner or right after they eat dinner. So what you have to do is determine what's the best time frame. And you can play with that based on the responses you get or when people you know, actually come in and, and answer your emails. And then you're gonna click proceed. 
and it's going to tell you what it looks like. Um, it's going to say John, and it's this is the subject that are going to get they're going to get in their email. It says new programs available. Um, here's John. Hello, and thank you for visiting my website. Blah blah blah. Here's the picture I want to put in there. Um, so this I want to go back and edit because as you can see, is everything now is HTTPS. So I'm going to come down here and click on edit message. And I'm going to go in here and change these to S. So they don't go to a broken link or they don't get anything wonky when they go and visit my site. So there's that. So everything now has an S on it. And I'm going to hit save again. And make sure everything's saved with an S, S. And then I'm going to hit send. All right. And there looks just the way I want it to look. And I'm going to send it. It's going into 83 people. So that means 83 people have actually picked up my web um, emails and are continuing to pick up my emails. I have more people in there than that. There's a lot of yellows in there that I'm going to be sending personalized emails to just to let them know, hey, check your emails. And I'm going to hit continue. And it's telling me, it's sending me a broadcast email scheduled to go out March 25th, 2022 at 5 a.m. And it'll be 5 a.m. their time. So I don't have to worry about saying, oh, okay, I got to wait till, you know, instead of 3 a.m. or 2 a.m. In, in California, you know, I got to send it for 9 a.m. So it makes sure it gets there on time. They will do it based on the time zone. So you don't even have to worry about time zones. It'll go out on their time zone. So I'm going to, you know, so there's that. And then you can go back and you're back at the beginning. Um, and if you haven't created an email magnet, um, it's fairly easy to do. We'll be doing that. If you don't know where to go get yours, say that, you know, we've had that big issue with our websites kind of got hacked and some people ended up losing some stuff. If you log into your account and you go over here to where it says review, you can see everything that you've ever done as long as you logged in with the same information. So you can see all your broadcasts that you send out for emails. You can see all your, if you're in the SMS program, you can see all of those that's went out. You can see your saved emails that you have. You can even pull up your stats. Um, so you can see your percentages of which emails are getting picked up, which emails aren't, um, which emails are gaining the most traffic. Um, you can see your contacts. Everything is right here. Um, and then this is the big thing that people want to see is your customer magnets. So when you click on your customer magnets, here's every magnet you've ever created that is on a site, on an ad that you've done. Um, if you are still advertising those sites, don't come in here and delete them because that means anybody that has filled out that site, um, magnet on an ad that you have floating around out there, your information is going to get lost. They, it's not going to come. It's just like your website getting a 404 page not found. It will not allow them to populate that. So you want to make sure that if you do delete one of your magnets, that you make sure you know where their information is and you delete it there too, especially if it's in your website. So I create magnets for everything. Um, not, I mean, just anything because you can use these anywhere and everywhere. Um, you can use them for advertising. Um, and most people are like, well, why would you wanna use that? Because I'm gonna show you why this is such a key advertising platform that we're not using. So when you go to create your opt-in form and you're gonna have one, like I said, in your website, but I use them for, for advertising. So you're gonna have your opt-in form and this is your form. This is how it looks. And most of you don't have an email list. So you're gonna use the email list that's there. But if you have a new page that's coming out um, and you just wanna generate traffic to that, that specific target market, then you can do that. So you can create a new list and say um, advertising for real estate personnel or real estate companies, um, or you can say advertising to 50 and above um, people, you know, age group. You can say advertising for cosmetics, uh, you know, however you want to do it, you can create a new list so that when they fill out that magnet, you know what you advertise to them. 
So you can say, okay, this is for app, this is my makeup. So I need to make sure that anything I send to them is dealing with makeup. Oh, this is for weight loss. So anything that I send to them is for weight loss. I'm starting a new campaign for weightlifters and bodybuilders. So I'm going to come in here and do weightlifting. And I've gotten a ton of traffic on some new things that I created. So here's one of the things that you did. So this is where I want this list to go to. All right. And then your call to action. What do you want? And you can see your preview over here of what you're going to do. So your call to action is your headline. What is your headline? Now, your headline, I always say use those power words that we talked about last week, because that is also a good eye catcher. You want your response magic to also be an eye, eye catcher because it's going to be an ad, basically. So this is what I'm doing. Amplify your workout. Is that right? Yeah. And you can change the color if you want to. I'm not too partial to red. I'm a pink person, but since this is going to be for workout and bodybuilders, I think I'm going to go a little bit towards the blue and I want it to be a really deep blue. So there's a code that generates down here at the bottom. Let me get my pen. And I always write that code down because I want to make sure that my colors are the same no matter where I use them. So I'm going to come in here and write that code 2C0BA4. All right. So, and then I'm going to click choose. And so there it is. So the next one is going to be your call to action. So my call to action is. So this one's going to be All right, are your supplements working as hard as you are? All right. So there's that and that one does not color coordinated. Um and here's a video. So I can actually put a video in here. Um, and it has to be a YouTube video. That's the only thing. So I'm going to come in here and see if I have a YouTube video for my Vela Vida. So I'm going to come here to my nootropics. I'm going to look up my Vela Vida and see if I have a Zoom. Not, I mean, a YouTube video. So this is one I did for myself. For YouTube, um, here's one here. I'm going to copy that because that's just one I made of some of my stuff. Um, they got youth that I've copied, but most of them are in um, is Vimo, so it doesn't allow you to do Vimo. So I'm going to put a video in here. You don't have to put a video, but you can if you have one. Um, on the wine ones, I always use Rory and Tanya's Wine Live. Sometimes I even pull up some of the um, cooking shows that we do so that they can see, you know, exactly what we do. And then here's your questions that you have. Step three is your questions. You see it already has your name, first and last name, and an email. These little red asterisks right here means that they have to fill out that particular information before they can leave your form. So I want to make sure I have their first name and last name and an email. Then you have other questions that you want to ask. You can ask them. So you can come over here and say, okay, what do I want to put in there? You can ask for a telephone number. I don't start. That way they don't feel obligated to give it to me, but if they want to, they can. Um, I always ask for um, the state that they're in. I don't necessarily ask for their full address, but I ask for their state and I start because then that way it tells me if they do give me their phone number, I can see what time zone they're, they're in. So I don't fall outside the laws of the time zone between 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. their time, not your time. If you're in the same time zone, then that's fine. But if you're in a different time zone, it has to be 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. their time zone. 
So I always put that in there. And then if you want a custom field, you can come in here and do custom field. And I ask them when I do the custom field, I come in here and say, um, bodybuilder. So I give them the option, are they a bodybuilder or a weightlifter? Does it, depending on which one they, they answer, then it will determine how I want to market them. Um, bodybuilders work out differently than weight, weight, uh, weightlifters. I was both. Um, so that's one of the things you want to be able to do. Yes, in college, I, I actually did competition bodybuilding. Um, can you imagine? But I did. So, and that's one of the things you can do. Um, and just, you know, that's about it. I don't try to get it too deep into it, but you can, but I, like I said, I want to get enough information so that when they fill it out, that I can, you know, mark it to them properly. Um, and then submit, what do you want to do? And then here I'm going to do, you know, enhance your workout or enhance your routine. All right. And again, what was that color code? I'm going to come in here and get that color code, which was 2C. I got to find my notes, 2C0BA4. All right, hold on just a minute. I got them. All right, so I'm going to put the 2C, I think it was a 0BA4. Why isn't it not working? 2C, 0, B, A, 4. And then hit choose. And there's my color. So now I have my same color, top and bottom. So I'm coordinated. And then and there's going to be my submit button. Um, options. Do I want them to fill out using their Facebook? And I say no. And this is the reason being. If you allow them to use their Facebook login information, you're only going to get their name, address, or whatever else they put for Facebook. Most of the time, it's going to be an email. You will not get their spe the specific questions you are asking. So I tell them, no, I want them to fill out my questionnaire. I don't want them to log in using anything else other than what I'm giving them. I want them to answer or fill out the questionnaire based on what I, I have there. Um, so I don't want them to fill out my form using their Facebook information because it's not going to give me everything I asked for. So I always put no. Um, the other thing is like I do have SMS. So I'm going to click on yes. And so which list do I want? I want this to go to um, my Vela Vida because that's what I'm marketing is my Vela Vida. And so it's going to send them a message. As soon as they fill it out, I'll get their, their number. Um, for Vela Vida. Then here's the other thing um, for Response Magic it gives them the option. You know, same thing with the opt out. Same thing with the SMS has an opt out. I put my name in there. I don't put my website name. I don't put my website address. I put my name in there so they know I'm a real person. I'm not a robot. I'm not some fictional company. I let them know, hey, this is me. This is who you're going to get emails from. So when you see my name, you know who I am. So I put my name in there. If you don't want to put your full name, you don't have to. You can actually go in there and modify that a little bit. You can just put Miss Matchett. You can put Sheila. You can put whatever your name is. Put that in there. But I put my whole name in there. I want them to get to know me because I'm going to be sending them other stuff. I'll send them recipes that I create. Um, I'll send them invites to like we're getting ready to go to Texas. So I'll send an invite to, hey, if you're going to be in the Texas area at this time, I'm going to be here. Come see me. You know, so I'll be sending that out to my email list, um, things like that. Um, do I want to get notifications of when somebody sends out, fills out that email? Yes, I do. I want to get that notification. Does it always come? No, but it's there. Um, do I want them to stay on the page that says, thank you for filling out Response Magic? No, there's a specific page I want them to go to. So where do I want them to go to? I want them to go to my tri trifecta page. So I'm going to come up to Vela Vida and I'm going to pull up my trifecta page. Do I have it in here? I know I do. There it is. 
So I'm going to grab this link. And I'm going to come back here to my response magic and I'm going to paste that URL code in there. So when they get to the bottom, um, and I always give credit where credit's due, I give it there. And so I have the page. So once they finish filling out the link and they hit that submit button at the bottom, this is where it's going to send them. It's going to send them to my trifecta of health page. And that's going to give them all the information about brain, youth, Zleem, and plus. So it's trifecta plus one. So they will get all the information on there about their weightlifting, bodybuilding, workout, all that good information is going to be there. So before I click submit, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to look through everything. I'm going to make sure everything's the way I want it. I got everything highlighted that I want highlighted. Um, got my colors, make sure my spelling's okay. Amplify your workout. As hard as you are. So make sure everything's clear and the way you want it. And the reason being is once you hit that submit button and you come up and say, oh, that's spelled wrong. You can't go back and change it unless you know code. And I highly suggest you don't mess with that. Just delete it and start over. So once you hit submit, now you have all the codes you need. And if you're not sure what they're for, these are the ones that you're gonna be using to advertise. So when you do your ads in your uh, social media, when you do your ads on your platforms, when you do your ads in your um, free ad sites, these are the links you use just like you do for um, your web pages. And if you wanna see how it looks, just click on one. So I have the video, there's my video. It's got my link, my information there. They can read that. Here's the information they need to fill out. They click on this and it goes to my, my page. Um, very good. If they want to see horizontal, the video is going to be on this side and they can see everything. So they can actually listen to the video um, talking about, and that's all I'm doing is just, you know, got some memes and stuff in there that talks about Bella Vita and their products. So you can go in there and again, it's just a different perspective. Um, but when you put it on your website, the video does not show up. When you put your response magic because of the coding, the way it is in, it does, it doesn't show the video. Only in your ad sites and your squeeze links do your video show up. So when you go back to your response magic, it's like, well, I wanna put this on my website. So this is where you're gonna copy this. You just, you know, click. Control A to highlight, Control C to copy, and then go to your website, go under your, um, your widgets over there, pull up a block and paste this in there and it will show up. You wanna do one on the right and the left. Um, and just depending on where you go, if you don't have one yet on your site, you wanna send them to your thank you page. Or if you have a highlighted page that you want to use, use that page, but you want to send them somewhere. Don't just leave it where it says stay on this page because all it does is says thank you for filling out response magic form. You want them to come back to your website. Um, and then when you go and do uh, get back to your response magic, then um, when you get finished, you can come back up here, go to your review, go to your customer magnets down here, and then there's your other form. It'll be down here at the bottom. Um, and then say, well, I can't remember what my form was. You're just going to come here and get, get code and boom, it's right there again. Nothing changes unless you change it. Nothing goes away unless you get rid of it. It's always here as long as you have your same login information. Um, you don't lose these. Um, they don't go away. Um, like I said, you can swap them any, in, in and out. That's why I have so many because depending on the season, I'll either make new ones um, or I'll just come back in and, um, you know, swap the ones out that I have. So like this one I have right now, Vela V, the hot product, uh, plot, uh, product right now is a big market for it. So bring out your skinny mini, you know, get, get that weight off, get bathing suit weather, um, get that beach body going. Um, so that's one of the things you want to be able to do is you want to market the hot and trending items. You want to let them know, hey, you got what they need for the upcoming trend. Um, and so swap these out. Keep your website looking fresh um, and have one for different pages. Um, so this one over here, I don't know if I got the same one. Um, what is that? Okay. Don't know what that is. How can a Google ad not show? All right. Anyway. 
So I got the same one. So if I wanted to go in and change that one, I could. I can go in and, and delete that one off and put a different one on. That'll be a different topic for another day. So, but that's how you want to do is get your response magic codes up. Make sure you have your platinum synergy. That is your parent company for response magic. That's where you get your own individual link that you can give to your students or you can advertise for yourself. Um, and then you want to go to your response magic and sign up with that with your instructor link. Um, and then start building your own response magic codes, get your own email list generated and start building your own um, customer base for your products and services. Um, so that's how I use response magic. I literally use it in everything I create um, or have a way to use it. I use it in all of my advertising. Uh, at least one ad a week is geared towards my response magic lead generation. Um, because I'm, you know, I'm not going to be as big as Rory for lead generation guru, but you know, hey, I, I like to dream big. <laughs> so, um, but that's one of the things you can use it for is to build up your clientele, um, post it out there in all the places that you have and start building up your clientele because you never know, they might come in for one thing, see your ad. And then when you fill out that newsletter, you know, maybe every quarter um, with some new stuff that you got going on then they might see something else that they like um, or share that newsletter with somebody else that might need something that they've seen. So um, use your response magic, get it out there. Um, when you do get 100 active um, people responding, you, they will require you to pay for it, the $17.95. Again, it's an expense, it's a tax deduction, and I think it's one of the least expensive programs we have out there. Um, I love it. I use it all the time. And I just think it's a great investment um, for you to use. But until you get that 100, use the free one. It's free up to that 100, you know, sign up um, and just use it and market your system. Get the word out there. Let people know. Email is still a big thing. People don't check it as often, but they still check it. They still use it. It's still utilized by a lot of people. And it's one of those programs that people think is dead so they don't use it so if you're starting to use it or get out there you're probably going to pick up some customers and some traffic to your site so that's all I have for today I hope it helped anybody um, so that's all <laughs> great job